What is going on you guys, Tutorial Tim here. Today I'm going to show you how to use the Auto Flow plugin in Figma to draw beautiful flows in Figma automatically. So this uh, this tool is really simple to use. If you haven't installed it, just go to your plugins here in your library. It's one of the most popular plugins. You can just click install and you're good to go. Um, it's really simple. You select two objects, you right click and find the Auto Flow in the plugin menu and it allows you to wire up all your designs. So let's get started I have this file for you guys in Figma I'm using the desktop application I highly recommend it as opposed to the web browser but anyways um, as you can see uh, you guys can duplicate this file um, I'll have the link in the description and if not you can just like just view it for your purposes or whatever anyways I got this I got these frames all labeled here to link them re relatively quickly not only is this going to be a tutorial on how to use the autoflow plugin but I'll also just show you how to use like the, the very basics of creating a prototype so we have all these mock-ups ready to go um, and I'm just gonna start linking stuff so to utilize the autoflow plugin we're gonna want to right click and go to plugins and select autoflow and you'll get this little tooltip below saying please select two objects and now we're ready to get fired up uh, creating creating our wireframe so I got this uh, this money lover prototype app uh, it's a free Figma UI kit that I have as a link in the description as well um, and I'm going to link to my next frame and I'm going to use the shortcut keys option command P and as you can see autoflow generates this uh, you know this wireframe and uh, I'm going to go to my previous selected uh, my first selected object which is this like card component and I'm going to go to action and link to the second frame and if you do that um, it'll automatically by default generate a trigger that will be on click as opposed to for example in our next frame where we have this card I'm gonna link it to this other card by shift selecting it and clicking on on click and then going to the action option selecting the action um, and we're gonna to want to link it to action I mean to frame 2.2 and yeah um, as opposed to doing that we're gonna to want to hold down option command P and we're going to select our original frame that links us to the next frame and go to action and select 2.2 and from there we have that card and I'm gonna go to my next card here I'm gonna go from 2.2 to 3.2 to add a card I'm gonna use the shortcut keys option command P again and then select the original the first card that takes me to the guided destination and select the action which links me to the next frame 3.2 you kind of get the process here it's kind of repetitive but I'm gonna go ahead and uh, wireframe the rest of this and walk through it um, kind of go over, going over the prototype basics as we as we use this autoflow plugin but for those of you who wanted to learn how to use autoflow plugin that was pretty much it uh, the rest of this is extra context behind prototyping utilizing the autoflow plugin so just a heads up all right now we're gonna want to select this tab here and select our desired frame and then I'm gonna hold down option command P again link us there select my tab utilize uh, the action to go to my next frame which is frame 3 and then from there I'm gonna to want to link this card to the next frame I'm gonna hold down option command P again using the hotkey and then select the card to go to the frame and then go from here I want this fingerprint to scan and then give me access to that to all my cards so I'm gonna go to the click on this thumbprint shift click on this frame utilize the hockey option command P thanks to autoflow and then make sure it links to frame 5 and then once that is linked I'm gonna select this component here this card and then take I want it to take me to frame 6 so shift click on frame 6 and then utilize the autoflow hockey option command P select that component again that card component and then make sure that links to frame 6 and then I want it to go back to frame 5 using option command P again this is very repetitive and then go to frame 5 with the action and then from there I'm gonna have this Yahoo card take me to frame 5.1 utilizing the action frame 5.1 and then from there I'm gonna select this button which will allow me to scan 
any receipts and make sure that links to 6.1. I'm going to have it exit and I'm going to use a little cross dissolve in this prototype as well. Something you guys might have not used before for those of you who have never prototyped. Um, nothing fancy, but uh, I'm going to have this link to frame 5. Or whoops, I can use the auto flow hockey command option P and then also make sure it links to frame five. So that's pretty much our prototype um, that we built out, very short and sweet. If we wanna see how this is utilized, we can go to our play button. It'll, it'll load up your prototype. It'll show you where to click on the UI. So as you can see, click on my card, click on my card again to view the next card, which is my master card. And then you can also add another card and then I'm gonna sl we select our tab as we've indicated in the prototype, which will take us to our card and scan our thumbprint to give us access to all our other accounts and see our receipts here. And we can go back and then click on our PayPal account and add another receipt. And then we can close out of it. And that's, our, that's the prototype we developed, folks. Um, nothing super complicated very basic um, utilizing the autoflow plugin if you thought this was helpful please rate this video and leave a comment in the sec in the comment section below and I'll see ya